What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Happy to bring you another uh, kind of bluesy, bluesy classic rock soloing lesson inspired by one of the greats, David Gilmour. So I got some tasty licks. None of them are super fast. He's obviously famous for, like, super tasty licks that aren't blazingly fast but super melodic and just fits right perfectly in the song. So uh, that little intro there, I'm going to break down those licks for you and hopefully you get something out of it. Uh, also, I've got some other bonus uh, blues style licks that are not on YouTube. Uh, you can click the link down there and check those out. I really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get zooming in and I'm going to show you these tasty licks. Here we go. All right. So the licks I was playing, they're for the key of B minor or B minor pentatonic. The whole thing is the B minor pentatonic. Uh, not even the blues notes, just the straight up pentatonic. Or as some people say, pentatonic. They forget that T in there. That's okay. I don't mind. I don't discriminate. Let me adjust that. Okay, so the first lick goes like this. And we're just, I'm going to show you one little piece at a time and then we're going to add it all together. So the first lick goes like this. <laughs> Right? And, and uh, so the root is the seventh fret, which is a B note, and we're thinking of this box pentatonic. And we're right here on the G string. It's on the ninth fret, and we're going to bend it up a whole step. And we kind of uh, pick it, you know, before it's bent. And then we release the tension, but you don't hear it go back down. And then you hit the seventh fret of the G. It's kind of a Hendrixy thing. And I'm giving a little shaky shake vibrato. The next thing is a really crucial bend that all blues players should be working on, and that's that B string bend up to the root. So I'm on the tenth fret of the B string, and I'm using all three fingers to bend up to that next whole step up. So when you put those two together, it sounds like this. Sorry. And that's something you can add right away into your blues licks. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the first little part. Next. And you're going to see where the building a motif thing, you know, a repeat, you know, you repeat some of the ideas to get the ear kind of uh, latching on to the solo. So we got. So see that? It did that same, but with a little thing in between. And it's just the pentatonic again. We're going seven to 10 on the B string, into, then into that first lick. Okay, put them all together, it sounds like this from the top. So that next lick, another great thing, and you can take any little pieces of these and throw them into your own vocabulary of licks. That's tasty. And it's just coming right from that blues box uh, run that I've taught a lot, especially on guitarjams.com. And so basically we're sliding with our ring finger up to the 12th fret of the B. And uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter. You could slide from a whole step. I'm just picking a random spot, you know, going all the way up. It can be from anywhere. So 
So I'm sliding with the ring finger up to the 12th fret. Then I'm going to the 10th fret of the high E. So boom, 10th fret of the high E, back to the root again. So let's put all those licks together now, shall we? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Slow. That's the next lick. So I'm hitting twice on that root right there, which is the 12th fret of the B. Then a big whole step bend on the high E, 12th fret. And basically what I'm doing is I'm doing it, letting it come back down, and I'm pulling, pulling off and then picking to that root again, which is that 12th fret of the B. And I did a down pick there, and as it comes, I'm doing an up pick. And what you can eventually get, and you just got to keep jamming and you'll, you'll get that feeling the more you work on it, but there's kind of a little rake. And when I do the up stroke like that, I'm kind of getting, you know, kind of muting it really just with, with my hand. And I'm kind of getting some string noise. Oops, wrong spot. Okay, from the top. And I like that lick. It's not hard, but it sounds so good. And I'm going to show it to you. Bend the whole step up of G once again on that ninth fret. Then seven on the same string. Then nine again. That's all on the same string. Then we're just going to roll our ring finger over to that root. And I like a lot of that same fret string skip overs. So, from the top, and then that would end our little phrase. Pretty familiar sounding, I'm sure. Kind of a variation of what we already did. We're going to bend the G string on that ninth fret. And right as it starts to bend up, we're going to go to that seventh fret of the B. Then we're going to do seventh fret of the high E. Notice I'm taking that ring finger off. And how do you not hear that open G? 
it's with my right hand. I can, can kind of control. And actually, I use my right hand and my left hand to control my muting. So I'm not hearing the open strings ring out. But that's something I don't, I don't want you to be focused on that. I'd rather have you play the lick really well with that squonky open string ringing out and get the lick down. Once you get that lick going internally, then you can start to think about that muting aspect. OK, from the top. <laughs> finger because it's going to slide up. A lot of times I'd use my pinky, but in this case, after I hit, you know, I got nine bends, seven, seven. And I'm going to go to 10 on the B with my ring finger. And then I'm going to slide it up a whole step. And now I'm in that little rock star box right there. little thing. So we're just climbing up the box from that slide. You know, uh, 12, 10, 12. Then we're going to bend it up. And then we're going to do a double pick on that root again. And then a little uh on that 10th fret of the high E. And then that's all I'm going to show you for this particular lesson. So I want to get it internalized, and I'll bring you more at a later time. <laughs> Just like that, all right? Here's the solo, kind of in real time. Let's see. A little jam track. Thank you.
those were the licks. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, I got those extra blues licks down there. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. Take care.